Howdy there guys and gals. On this episode of Duddy's Adventure, I tried to be a mechanic, but due to lack of preparation, piss poor planning, it makes you reevaluate the choices you've made in your life. Today we're going to work on the gearing situation with the Death Charger. Currently it's got 410 gears, but I want to put 617s in it. Luckily, I got a set of axles that set up the better part of a decade ago. And since I don't know how to set up gears, I'm just going to swap axles. But first, we got to get it in the shop. Alright, go ahead and... Alright. I'm not an electrician. Damn battery dies, so yeah, we'll just... That's snug, oh, yeah, that'll work perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, that doesn't work, but, oh, let try that. Oh, good old tractor button. Like a champ. I won't bore y'all with the details. We'll just get to tearing out that front axle.
you can't do wrenching, at least you throw in some greasy tacos in there. So the axle we're using is a 1980 model dually axle that I had 617 gears thrown in a while back. So all we got to do is get it in the shop, swap over the single wheel hubs and throw her in there. What possibly could go wrong? So guys, I planned on installing a ratchet style locker in this open carrier, but uh, it helps to read directions first. If I would have read the directions first, I realized if you have 488 or lower gears, uh, or numerically higher gears, you have to re remove this ring gear in order to get this pin out. Yep, pace read directions also pays that you're actually a mechanic. This is what I wanted to install in there, but due to lack of foresight, reading directions, and mechanical aptitude, um, I'm gonna have to start over. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. So since I'm not a mechanic and all I do is unbolt stuff and bolt stuff back on, all the stuff that I bolted back on, I have to unbolt again. Lack of supervision is a problem here. Well, since I screwed up there, I'm waiting for actual mechanical advice. I guess I could throw together the axle I pulled out of there with some of the old parts and slap it together. The axle I pulled out is a Dana 60 front, 410 gears with the same style ratchet locker, but Found over here, it had popped some of the U-joint caps and the uh, actual shafts are now rubbing on the uh, spindle area. So this axle is probably gonna need a good rebuild. It leaks 90% of its life fluid through the sides and uh, it's, it's pretty worn out. So we're gonna go ahead and just slap those dually hubs on there, get it all sealed up and uh, stored for another day.
and perfectly placed in storage for future use. Well, after consulting the actual mechanic, um, I've elected to go a different route with this little project. First off, if I got to remove the hubs I just put back on, I don't want to put those back on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reassemble this axle the way it is, that open carrier. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade to an internal style hub later on. And when we do that, I'll pull the carrier and we'll put the locker in there. And by me, I mean an actual mechanic. That's it for today's episode. At least we got the front axle in. Someone with common sense would probably learn a valuable lesson about reading directions first. I have a tendency to be a glutton for punishment. So next time, we'll try to get the rear axle in, which may take a little bit of fabrication and welding work. Maybe we'll just go get tacos. Tacos sound better.